There's some new settings to check out in the Division 2 after the latest update, but then we're also going to talk about a few other ones as well. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's Man AK Tech Ranger, and today we're going to talk about four more settings in the Division 2 that you probably should know about. These are by no means like all of the settings that you can change in the Division 2. There's actually quite a bit and I might make some more videos on it. But if you're interested in that sort of thing or just interested in like how-to videos in general for Xbox and like Fallout 4 mods, Skyrim mods, helpful videos for the Division, that sort of thing, feel free to subscribe or like the videos. All of the settings in this video will have a timestamp in the description down below. So if you guys forget how to do something or are not really sure what to start with or what looks interesting to you, then go ahead and look in the description at those timestamps and you can go right to where you want to go. But let's go ahead and start the video off with our first setting and that is a little bit of a change to the on-call setting. The developers actually made it so where you can uh, choose whether or not you want to hear on-call from like friends or clan members or just no one in general or everybody. And before it was just kind of like an on and off toggle. If you go over to the SHD tab and look in the bottom left, you'll see a toggle for the on-call status and basically that allows you to switch between like all friends clan members or just none at all this can be helpful especially if you have people in your clan that aren't necessarily on your friends list so that you don't necessarily need to add them to your friends list in order to play with them or if they're looking for help you can help them out rather than have to go through a whole nother process so with the title base and update at the recording of this video, one of the newer things that was added into the game was invasion missions that you can actually toggle. Before, you could only play the invasion missions as they came up going in between the different world tiers, but now you can actually toggle the invasion missions as well as the invasion strongholds. So you can actually do it pretty easy. The same concept, you go to the mission that you want and then you can, when you select the difficulty, you just look in the bottom left and then you can actually toggle the invasion. And the color is going to change it'll be red if it's black tusk and kind of a blue if it's just regular pretty helpful to know especially if you're looking for a certain exotic that you need a certain boss to spawn in a certain mission now let's move on to what I think is probably the biggest setting added into this last update and that is neutral lighting. Now this was actually something that was around in the Division 1. There's a lot of lighting improvements to the Division engine. Depending on how the game looks for you, if you turn it on or off you might have a really dark looking game but bring out some highlights and things. I thought it would be a good idea to have some different screenshot comparisons for you guys to look at as well as a little bit of in-game footage just so you guys guys can kind of make a decision on whether or not neutral lighting is something you should turn on in the graphic settings or just have off. Now we come to our last setting and this one is a little bit of a personal preference and it's actually been in the game since the launch of the game and that is the grid view when looking at your gear and weapons and that sort of thing. You can actually do a couple things. You can change it to the grid view so that you kind of see that column view rather than a list. And when you're looking at your gear all you have to do is go and look at the options in the bottom right you just hit that left stick in and then i'll bring up a bunch of options for you as well as the toggle for grid view and you can even sort it a bunch of different ways as well so it's kind of a personal preference thing like i say i kind of like the list you know just kind of one by one let me know if you guys like the grid view in the comments down below. I'm interested to see what you think. Everybody has their own kind of personal preference and how they like to do things in game. So I figure I'll throw the question to you. Uh, that is pretty much going to do it for all this. I don't want to have this video be like too, too long. I just thought it would be cool to kind of showcase some settings that I think are pretty helpful 
on top of the ones that I already talked about in the other video. And if there's any that you guys think I should talk about or if there's any that you have, you know, feel free to put those in the comments. It'll be helpful to other people that watch the video. If you all enjoyed the video, uh, definitely leave a like if you did and subscribe if you want to see some more kind of helpful videos, Fallout 4 mods, Skyrim mods, Vision 2 stuff, Xbox stuff. I should be uploading probably every Friday. It might be a little bit more depending on when you're watching this. Uh, I am kind of in between jobs at the moment. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.